Thomas Alva Edison. His inventing career spanned some 70 years. He produced almost 1,100 patented inventions. Became a testament to our possibility. This is the 35th annual Thomas Alva Edison Patent Awards, presented by the Research and Development Council of New Jersey. My name is Jake Janey, formerly of Merck Process Research and Development. I'm Jeffrey Moore, Principal Scientist in the Biocatalysis Group within the Process Research uh, Chemistry Department at Merck & Company. My name is Paul Devine, and I'm a Director in the Process Chemistry Department at Merck & Company. The transaminase catalyst is one that uh, beginning with a ketone sets a chiral amine. Uh, it's an enzyme that uh, we created actually from uh, a natural source. We modified quite heavily with our partners uh, at Codexis uh, to improve this enzyme to work uh, specifically to make the citagliptin uh, molecule, which uh, is the active ingredient for uh, the Genuvia Janumat series of, of uh, diabetes compounds for Merck. There was the primary driver for this entire project and to justify its existence was the obvious business need that as a company we were faced with this challenge of how do you make more drug without going to specialized equipment that required high pressure vessels and in, in this case rhodium which was a, a precious commodity metal which is mined and if you think about it that's a very inefficient process so the idea that we could come up with a, a process where you grow your catalyst out of E. coli essentially and, and feed on sugar versus going to the earth and mining this rhodium metal was very much a win in terms of sustainability, but also scalability and portability of the process. The idea that we could run this process anywhere in the world. Coupled with that is that idea that this was a huge contribution to the scientific literature, and now we see widespread adoption of this technology by other companies, academic groups, etc., because Codexis is in the business of selling this enzyme to others and making it available for other chemical processes. Where we are is, is all about the science, and if you, we can make a compelling argument that scientifically this is going to help not only the Genuvia process, but also the rest of the pipeline. We can make an argument that scientifically uh, we'll be able to make lots of drug, get into the hands of the patients as quickly as possible. Where we were with this process is we were faced with a choice. We either had to build some more specialized facilities to meet the need, or we needed a new process. So the company was willing to do you. De demand was what initiated a tremendous amount of interest on, on the part of Merck management for alternate chemistries, uh, either to improve the existing chemistry uh, or, or to generate alternate chemistry. Uh, and we pursued both as a company. Um, uh, I think we're all ultimately very thankful that uh, management was willing to take a risk on what was uh, um, a, a, an as yet unproven technology. This is a, really a tremendous honor. When I think back about Thomas Edison and how he lived his life and how he conducted his research, uh, to be able to receive this award is really incredible. You know, the word that comes to mind is persistence, right? Try, try, try again.